Hello, it's Lita Lums Apothecary, and we're discussing rosehip seed oil, which I purchased a bottle from Eve Hansen online on Amazon. Um, she's out of London. This is 100% pure and organic, and it's cold pressed. Um, I like it. Uh, there, so I just put a few drops in my hand with wet, uh, you know, moist skin after washing it, and pat it on. Um, in terms of its effectiveness for anti-aging, both wrinkles and discoloration, there's some studies online that are both clinically assessed as well as uh, people's own experience of their skin. And it's about 20, 20%, 25% improvement assessed. Um, but the main benefit is moisture. Uh, it, it does have some key components, linoleic acid, which uh, like the cell membranes are made of, and that's um, you def that's great for your skin, as well as retinoic acid, like retin A, um, vitamin A, that is good. That's proven to help with anti-aging symptoms, with aging symptoms like um, wrinkles and discoloration and elasticity of the skin, as well as vitamin C. So it it, it does have those ingredients in it. Uh, just naturally they come from it's not rose petal oil. It's rose hip seed oils so like the seed of various roses That's what creates the rose hip oil um, So it's kind of all the rave on a natural beauty health right now But to create a little bit more potency of the the agents the uh, that are that I'm looking for I put um, up in the morning because you don't want retinoic acid, it's uh, sun sensitive and could make your dark spots darker. So in the morning, I, I with my face wet, I put a few drops of this, just a few drops, and then I add some asorbyl palmitate, vitamin C esters. This is not ascorbic acid. I like the esters. This is like a white powder. So I have um, a little. I just tap a little bit of that into my hand. Um, and whoop, that was a lot. It's just a little bit, you know, and, uh, with my rosehip seed oil and it dissolves because as acerbal palmitate is oil soluble. So I'll just put a few drops of that in my hand and then I'll, so I'm adding basically vitamin C to it and then it dissolves in the oil. It's kind of a because it has a high keratin, keratin, like what's in uh, carrots content. And then I'll, you know, pat that on and smear it around. Okay. At night, to increase the dark spot um, and anti-aging properties, because I have dark blotches, I add some uh, v vitamin A palmitate, which I ordered where did I order this from? I got this on Amazon. It's a large amount. No, I got this. I got I got this hair, nail, and skin solution from eBay. I got a, kind of a large amount, and I mix that in this little bottle with some alpha arbutin and kojic acid, which I got from HighAltitudeOrganics.net. Separate. Uh, looks like that. I think I got that on eBay as well. Highaltitudeorganics.net. I will put that in the comments. Um, so I mix that up in this little bottle and I'll just tap a little bit of that. It's definitely more granular. It's less of a white powder. And uh, same process. I mix a little, a little bit of that into those active ingredients into my few drops of rosehip seed oil and I'll put that on at night. That's been my routine for a little bit here, and I really like it. Um, so my face is wet, and you know I'm I'm doing other things as well, but that seems to be really helping, and that just creates a little bit more potent active ingredient rosehip seed oil. So I'm making my own little facial products there, um, my own little uh, right mixing it r with just the amount that you need, so it's not gonna um, it's not going to go rancid no what is it called it's not going to acid what is it called when it's um when the vitamin c when it goes when <laughs> i can't remember the word when um 
it goes bad. Basically, your little batch of vitamin C, you know, serum, when it goes yellow, you know that the product is bad. I can't remember the word. Um, and then you, so if you make it in small batches like that, right, right on your hand, you know it's not bad. So there you go. That's how, that's another little thing you can try. Rosehip seed oil. A lot of people really love it for scars and acne scars, scars, um, and uh, for many things as well as uh, anti-aging and blotches. But there you go. Hope you try that at home.